Welcome back to Unforeseen Incidents. Last time we got robbed, so let's see whether we can get our equipment back. Let's check out the docks. Let's see what adventures await us there. And look at that, it's this thief, Crystal Energy. Hey, you! Do I know you? You robbed me! What? You're crazy. Get out of here. That meditation crap was a scam. Don't talk that way about Master Deepak Shakur. I want my stuff back now. Beat it, man. Then I guess I better call the police. Come on, man. I did you a favor. Possessions sap our spirit energies. Give me back my multi-tool. Jeez, all right, all right. Your crap is in that cardboard box. About time. Your shockers are messed the hell up, by the way. Bad karma. Excuse me. What? How's the con artist business? It's been better. How's the being a whiny baby business? Hey! Ooh. Take that. Your Deepak Shakur Hokum actually worked. It unlocked some kind of lost memory. You know, I thought it was total BS. See? I knew it would help. Come on. You just wanted to rob me. Small price to pay for spiritual equilibrium. Well, I better stay away from you. Yep. Well, at least we've got all of our stuff back. Not that all of that was terribly valuable in the first place. The Devil's Cut. Cool name. Is this place a rancid dive bar or an extremely hip cafe? I don't get these city folks. Who knows? Let's check it out. And look at that. It's Leroy. Hello? Ugh. Oh man, what a night. It... It can't be. Harper? Leroy! How did you get out of Yelltown? Well, after you left, I kinda had a little rest. Remember that old tin bathtub? I told you to stop sleeping under that stinky old bathtub. That bathtub saved my damn life! I wake up next day and there's... dead bodies. Yellow suits. How did you get to Port Nicola? I walked damn near all the way. Rolling and tumbling through hedges and ditches. Some hick farmer took a shot at me in Greystone. Can you believe that? I actually do believe that. I'm real glad you made it, Leroy. Jeez, but I saw things along the way. Well, at least that wraps up these. the farm mom has seen a beast subplot. What did you see? Hear about Arbutus Hill? They got it same as Yelltown. I was there. Same yellow suits. They're the ones who done it, Hob. The yellow suits. I know, Leroy. I saw them too. You can't tell no one about it or they'll get you as well. Do like me. Keep quiet and just ship out of town. Are you working in Port Nicola? I signed on with Cargo East. I'll be on a container ship come tomorrow. But I just... miss her so much. What? Who? My junkyard, Hop. I'll never see her again. Don't say that. I'm sure you'll see your beloved... junkyard when this is all over. Oh dear. I'm not the junkyard. Hey, I'm sure glad you made it out of Yelltown. Look at that more napkins logos. From Bear Catering. Looks like they got delivered recently. Il Capo, we'll make you a coffee you can't refuse. The Carbon Neutral Ceramics Company. Neat. Excuse me. What can I get ya? Can I get something to drink? You look like you could use one of our fine filter coffees. But we need instant coffee. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, I sure could. Okay, here you go. That'll be seven bucks. Seven dollars? Don't you think overpriced tipster coffee is a bit... cliched? Yep. That's why this is an ironic postmodern pastiche of overpriced hipster coffee. Uh, right. Here you go. Come back soon. I have to sell a kidney first. And we've got fruit. That sounds good to me because we do need, I think, vitamin C. Mm -hmm. These look good. Can I get this orange? Yeah, go ahead. Well, apparently that's free compared to coffee. Excuse me. What can I get ya? Do you like Port Nicola? Sure do. I moved here from Dunsville three years ago and I've never looked back. This place is everything. Artistic, exciting, multicultural. You want guacamole bagels with sushi at 3 a.m.? Come to Port Nicola. Don't you miss the peace and quiet of a small town? I never had a whole lot of peace back in Dunsville. Isn't it super expensive to live in the big city? Yeah, 
the rent is ridiculous. But you can get by if you give up luxuries like smoke alarms and working toilets. Jeez, I just don't see the attraction. But you can be whoever you want to be in Port Nicola. That's the attraction. And it's worth all the toilets in the world. I better go. See ya. I suppose it is, because who needs plumbing and basic hygiene? Anyway. Let's... Okay, so we do have the development kit here. Let's go back to... Where? Oh, there we go. Let's go to back to the city center. And let's check out that guy's coffee again, because we need instant coffee. We don't need our pristine hipster coffee. What's that? It's a coffee from the bar at the docks. You call that pretentious place a bar? There used to be a bar, until those snot-nosed teenagers moved in and ruined everything. I guess I'll keep the coffee then. Ah, I'll take it. Anything is better than that instant crap. Well, you're very welcome. I'll take care of the instant crap. And there we go, we've got our coffee, we've got the vitamin C and baking powder. So let's develop some pictures. And we do have the photo kit as well, which I suppose we do need. We already exchanged a light bulb. So this should be no problem whatsoever. And there was no red, red light effect there. Okay, so let's use the, the film. Undeveloped negatives Ranger Jervis took in Yelltown. Use the film with the development okay, reel. So the film goes on the reel. Actually, we should probably check out that manual. So, mm-hmm. Spend the resource we've done that. Okay, development tank, then the developer. Mm-hmm, put away the velo then the fixer, and then the water. Okay, yeah, we can do that. So we need to make our developer. So let's put the, I guess, baking powder in. Okay, instant coffee and baking powder. Now I just need to add vitamin C and I'll have me some high-grade caffeinol. Awesome, we can do that. There we go. Instant coffee, baking powder, vitamin C. I've made myself some caffeinol. I feel like an ingenious chemist slash chef. I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> I did not get that reference, but that's okay. Anyway got the coffee so let's use coffee on the film I should put the film in first didn't we do that oh wait yeah we've got the tank here goes. guess we do that in the tank not in the sink which is okay okie dokie cheap filling station coffee do your thing awesome and next we need so we've got the fixer here so let's use that it's fixer time it's tail time. And then let's use the water. Alrighty then. So, guess I'm done then. And there we go. Well, these negatives have come out great ish. I better show Hello Well. I developed the pictures. You did? Amazing. Hey, apart from being all negative, I gotta say, these came out pretty good. Yeah, they're good. But on their own, they're not good enough to put anyone in bracelets. What's that crate? I think that's the crate the virus canisters came from. Okay, so let's check that out. There's an anchor stamp on the virus crate. That seems unnecessarily jaunty. No, I know that anchor. That's the Port Nicola Harbor logo. The crate must have traveled through here. That's a lead. There's some kind of code printed on the crate. Interesting. Something tells me Ranger Jervis doesn't take a lot of selfies. Well, it looks like Jervis took a picture in the L-Town junkyard. Inverted Greystone Woods is just as spooky as normal Greystone. I don't think this is going to help Hellowell's investigation. Can you make out the RHC guy there? That's how they spread the virus, with those leaf blower things. Ranger Jervis was lucky to get this close to them without getting hurt. You know she knocked me unconscious and tied me up, right? All right, that is somewhat helpful. There's some kind of code printed on the crate. Anyway, can, can we get Ranger away from this? Do they help there we us go. nail RHC? Well, they're not federal indictment good, but they are good. 
So the crates carrying the virus came through the harbor? Looks like they did. You've turned up a good lead. Time for a little legwork? Why is it always my legs doing the work? Professor McBride used to work for RHC. Yeah, you didn't know that? I thought you and McBride were friends. You did know that? I'm a journalist. I do my research. Which reminds me, I found this article I thought looked useful. I can't believe you didn't tell me McBride worked for RHC. Well, he worked for one of the companies that formed RHC before the merger. It's not so strange, Harper. He's a research scientist, they're a major health corp. Yeah, but still, you know, right? You make an excellent point. What's so special about this article? It's from not long before the merger in 1992. Look at the picture. Interesting. So we do have, do have Rancho here and apparently the Architects. Looks good to me. So it's from before 1992. That's Rancho Senior standing on the site of what was going to be the shiny new RHC headquarters here in Nicola. Except Rancho Senior died. Junior took over and the HQ never got built. So? Rancho Senior clearly owned this property, but there's no real estate matching this description in RHC's public records. I figure RHC must hide their secrets somewhere. Why not in an HQ that never got built? You think RHC have a secret HQ here in Port Nicola? Nutty, right? But the more I find out about this story, the more I have to recalibrate my Kradar. Kradar. So, how do we find this place? That's where things get sticky. Rancho Sr. and the architect in the picture are both dead, and there's no record of who took the photo. So, I bit the bullet and spent hours searching for Blue Warehouse Port Nicola. You know the head Blue Warehouse is an adult video store, right? I do now, but look what I turned up. Huh, that does look like the same place. Can you work out where the site is, based on these pictures? Actually, I was hoping you could. I know it's not much to go on, but I have writing to do, and I'm basically warehouse blind at this point. Um, okay, I'll do my best. Enough about this. Talk to you later. See ya, Harper. All right, so we do have a picture here. This is from September 18th, 1987. I've got a nice coffee logo here, which we have seen before. We have seen it in the cafe, and we also have this picture here where we have this logo here, which we have seen before as well, namely here. Published by the Port Nicola Municipal Transportation Agency. Okay, that's good to know. So let's go to the dock sign because we've got something else to do before we continue. So there's Crystal Energy, just labeled as this thief, hanging out and smoking, which is not good for your equilibrial balance. Well, well I guess that was a bit redundant, but never mind. Anyway. Hey, Leroy, guess what? I've got a photo of your junkyard. Well, it's a negative, actually. But I bet you could get it blown up to the size of a billboard if you wanted. What? Ha! Huh, that's... that's... Do you think I can have it? Sure. You know I'm always ready to help a buddy. But... Will you lend me that harbor pass of yours for a moment in exchange? For a photo of my junkyard? I'd do anything, Hop. But bring it back, will ya? I need it tomorrow. Uh, of course. Well, we didn't really talk about that before, but never mind. The coffee cups here are made by carbon neutral ceramics. Okay, so that's good to know. So we do have carbon neutral ceramics here. So they're way close to that warehouse in 1987. And we did have the article here. So we don't know when that was made, but it means that the Port Authority was close to it at one point when there was snow. And we did have the article, and that means before 1992, there was this company here. And we can check that out as well. Let's go back to the city center because they had their logo there. So actually, no, they didn't. That was at the university campus. Not a problem. We can do that as well. There we go. And then we need to go to the town square anyway. But we'll get to that. Here we go. So this is... Eolus Innovations is a subsidiary of Petronica Oil and Gas. Hmm. So it's Eolus and Carbon Neutral. 
as well as the, the port authority. That is somewhat helpful. Let's go back to city center, which is a bit too far north from city center, but I guess that's not really what city center means. It just means it's the non purely residential area. Or the old town center, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm just babbling here. So, let's check out that picture. Port Nicola in the snow. I thought it never snowed here. It doesn't. Not for 10 years or something. Okay, so this was around 1997. That gives us another date. Let's so, check out this. This is the interactive mercantile directory. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back to 1987. At that point, the carbon neutral company was here. So they had a lot of that a lot of uh, subsidiaries at that point. So we have, to, so the the warehouse has to be either here, here, or there. Then let's forward a little bit. So here's another one of these here, but that should have been. I mean, I guess these ones here are still around. And Alice Innovations is here now, so that's a that's a good sign. And carbon neutrals here now, but that was oh that was carbon neutral before as well. And so the port authority was there before 1992. So where do we even have? The Port Nicola Port Authority. Let's just go all the way back to 1985. And let's just scroll, th scroll through a little bit, so to speak. Hmm. It doesn't really pop up. Okay, so we are here for the Port Nicola Municipal Transport Agency. And here we have it as well. And we also had Atlas Innovations and the Carbon Neutral Ceramics Co. So this should be the, the one address, because that's the only address where all these companies pop up, or is it... Yeah, that should be the only one. Okay, so let's get, let's get the address here. Looks like I printed something. How futuristic and useful. Yep, looks good to me. A crazy huge mountain range. Makes you realize how many places you haven't been. The paintings in here are real peaceful. Okay, let's go back to Jane. And there's our... Actually, she's she's pretty much here, so no need to, to warp. They will only get us... Only get us over here anyway, so that there's no real point in that. But let's warp upstairs. And let's talk to her. Hey, hello, Elle. Hey, Harp. I think I might have an address for that secret RHC warehouse. All right. I knew you were smarter than you make out. Well, actually, it's an address for a nearby building. Here. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, that's the warehouse district. Yes! Look, it's still there. You did it, Harper. Do you want to get down there and, um... Journalize. I think I can find the time. Well, look at that. And it's a blue massive container indeed. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it's definitely the building from the newspaper. You did good finding it. I'm impressed. Thanks. I'll try to get us in. And I'll try not to notice you committing criminal trespass and burglary. Cool. But first, let's check out this. What's this? Hmm. Unsuccessful delivery? Oh no, it's Yodel or Worth Parcel Force. Anyway, time to Easy does make it. an entrance. Yes! Harper, this is a felony. Let's go inside. And you are complicit. I'm pretty sure she is. And look at that. Wow. I can't believe that crappy warehouse exterior concealed... A crappy warehouse interior? I thought RHC was some massive international corporation. How can this be the head office? Hmm. It's a front. That's why they put me on a telephone merry-go-round. RHC doesn't have a head office. But how can that be? 
Who planned the attacks? Where's that rancho guy? I don't know who's pulling the strings, but something tells me it's not Patrick Rancho. Let's look around. What's this? The lights make it look like a TV studio. I recognize it. This is where Patrick Rancho used to do press conferences and satellite interviews. Hmm, interesting. Patrick Rancho was part of an elaborately detailed facade. This is crazy! It sure is. Anything left in here? Anything in there? Yes! I found a pen. It's from the Port Nicholas Sailboat Marina. Interesting. Also, this just glitched the out, marina. but that's okay. Hmm. Anything else? Doesn't really look like it. What do you make of this place? I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. This confirms our worst fears about RHC. Someone somewhere is pulling the strings. Yep, I think we're down here Hello, for the time being. I think I've seen enough. Me too. The RHC HQ is an empty warehouse. The real power, the people behind Yelltown, they're somewhere else. And we're going to find them, pricks. Well, at least that was somewhat of a success, I'd say. Hey, hello, well. Hey, Harp. So the crates carrying the virus came through the harbor? Looks like they did. You've turned up a good lead. Time for a little legwork? Why is it always my legs doing the work? Talk to you later. See ya, Harper. We already did that, so let's see. Hey, what's that? What's Aquila? Okay, so that was apparently we got that from from Crystal. Tired, restless, angry, you're not alone. Some feel good cult flyer. Interesting, interesting. And it's Aquila again. Which we have heard before, but more about that in a bit. First, let's go to 101. And look at that. This looks very, very hot pink. Ahoy! Sorry, no time to talk. Don't I know you from somewhere? I rather think not. You know who you look like? <laughs> I can't imagine. That Dr. Rancho guy from the newspapers. Well, people tell me I have one of those faces. But do you really? You're the spitting image of Rancho. Come on, man. You're him, aren't you? You have me confused, sir. I've never heard of this Dr. Ranzo. I wanted to thank you for your work fighting Yelltown fever. For the last time, I am not this doctor of yours. I am, however, a very good customer of this dockyard. Keep pestering me and you'll find yourself manhandled roughly from the premises by a sinewy roustabout. Understand? Yeah, apart from sinewy roustabout. Is that like a crawler? Hey, Rancho! Jeez, this guys are going to crack so easy. Hmm, looks like... He doesn't really want to admit that he is Rancho, which he obviously Port is. Nicola Marina. No poor people. It doesn't say that. But it should. That said, let's let's see. So we, we have to load the pictures. That's quite useful. And what we could do is go to the dock side and use that fancy pass of ours. There we go. Let's get it out. There we are. Neat. That should get us somewhere. These shipping containers are pretty huge. It won't be long before they're all rented out as studio apartments to vegan banjo players and whatnot. And what do we have here? A drone. Ah, that's so cool. I didn't know they were using drones here. I mean, that thing is totally gonna rise up and destroy humanity. Well, look how cool it is. And you look really thrilled. Hello. Hello, son. You're one of the new hands? Uh, yep. That's right. Well, my shift's nearly over. The next guy will have to show you the ropes. What are you doing there? It's the new regulations. All the consignments have to be sterilized when they pass through the harbor. The virus, right? Mm-hmm. So that machine does the sterilizing? That's what they tell me. I'm just here to make sure the gremlins and the machines don't miss any consignments out. It's highly stimulating work. 
You ever find anything weird in the deliveries? Like body parts or giant spiders? Son, working here may not be the thrill ride you are expecting. I don't have time to talk you through everything. But yeah, we get giant spiders. Cool. What do the codes on the packages mean? They're the consignment IDs. The first three digits refer to the courier company. The next four refer to the port of origin and the destination. And finally, there's the unique five-digit reference code. I just got this unsuccessful delivery note. Apparently, the delivery got returned here to the docks. Can your drone call up any package? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see what's happening here. You think you could start taking liberties first day on the job? Hey, sorry, man. I just want to learn more about how the machine works. Oh, yeah? We sure do. Can you tell me more about how the drone works? Uh, well, yes, it can. Which is also frozen. Package, as long as you have the ID. So, how might one select a specific package, in theory? Jesus Christ, son, do you think you're being subtle? Okay, if you stop interrupting me, you can call up your damn package. Just punch the ID into the panel and hit the green button. And do not tell any of your rust about buddies I cut you a break. How about them Port Nicholas Seagulls? Son, I'm not a rude man, but I started this shift at 3 a.m. As far as I'm concerned, you can take the Seagulls and cram them. Raccoons, man, huh? I better go. Hmm. All right. So let's check out this list here. What do we got here? Okay, so we do have a number of different locations here. Let's check out... Actually, no, that's not what I want to check out. Let's check out... Hey, that kind of looks like that code on Jervis's photo. It does indeed. So we have... PN 23 and here we had Cap M 457 but that's already in, in Yelltown naturally let's just why can't I not get rid of no want to get rid of this there we go okay I can't log in how do I get into this computer system with our elite hacking stick Maybe I can use Hallowell's flash drive to access the system Ooh, hacking minigame. Okay, let's get those boxes delivered or whatever. Uh, that, nope, that's... is it what I wanted to do? Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't... yeah, let's, let's just reset that. Hmm. Nope, I don't think that's what I wanted to do. Let's get you set up here. And did we want to do that this way? Maybe, maybe not. No, I don't think we did. Okay, you move over here. You move over here. You move. You move. You do. You do. And there we go. There we go. Here we go. Okay. And do we want to move... Ooh, I think that was a mistake, because now we can't move these guys here, can we? Well... I guess we can move you away, but I think we're stuck in, in the... Yeah, we're stuck because there's two of you guys here. Okay, that's, that, that, that's alright. We can figure this out, I think. Okay, did, wait, did we... Huh, why, why do we keep making the same mistakes? Okay, so we move you forward. You over here. We okay. Which one do we want to move next? Guess we could just try to move you here. I think we're stuck again because then we can't move any of you guys. Yeah. So let's move, move you forward. You jump over. You move forward. You jump over. You jump over. You move forward. You jump over. And, okay, so can't have you move over here right now, but that's okay. You move, you move, you move, you move. Uh, oh no, same situation again. Why did I do that? Okay, so you move forward. Let's do this. And uh, no, did I not want to do that? No, so I have to, have to stop these guys from, from getting adjacent, otherwise this is clearly not going to work can have you move over here. Yeah, that looks good to me. Looks better to me. There we go. 
Yuma Fomont. There we go. Yuma Fomont. Oh no, now it's these guys again. So we can get rid of you, but now we're stuck here. Why? Why does this keep happening? There we go. Do I do I want to move you to? Am I sure about that? So do I want to move? You? If I move you and you jump, so I have to do it like this. You jump over and. Uh, there we go. So now nobody's adjacent. Now I should be able to move yeah, you, you over here, you over there, you over there, you over there. There we go. Yeah, that should do the job. Slightly more tricky than expected, but not really that difficult, actually. I wonder if there are still any RHC consignments in the harbor. That's a good question. So let's check out the pictures again. So it was Cap N. 47, 7, um, 3, 9. Okay, so wildcard because we don't don't know the, the company. This was PN, and I guess we're going to use another wildcard. So all these deliveries came in by IXL. IXL must be the shipping company used by RHC. Okay, so this one here, 45, 7, 39. Of course. Uh, what did I do? You called in a package that's no longer in the harbor, son. Well, it's in Port Nicola, so it should no longer be in the harbor. Let's use IXL. And let's check out... Hey! That kind of okay, so here we have PN and 23, and we can't really, can't really see the rest. So you become a wildcard, you become PN. Yeah, that should do it. Wow. A lot of these IXL shipments come from that KA place. I wonder where KA is. That's a good question. Let's check hey, this again. That kind of I know you said that multiple times. Can't really can't really decipher this, can we? It's like twenty-three three something? Who knows? Twenty-three something here. We've got a couple of those, obviously. Was that another out of date code? <sighs> Uh, what did I do? You called in a package that's no longer in the harbor, son. That must have been the right one. What's that? A letter? Third time's the charm. Huh. So Berard sent this to someone called Eva, but it couldn't be delivered and it came back. But by that time, Berard had closed up shop and was fixing to leave town. So it just bounced around between them and ended up here in the harbor. Let's see what's inside. Eva. Time is short, so I'll be brief. Um, as I wrote you in my last letter, my engagement is coming to an end. It has not been easy, but you must know I was doing it for you. We can finally be f a family now. I've enclosed one last check. It should mean you and the grandkids never need to think about money again. Also, it's a lot of money. God knows, I'll have been haven't been the perfect father, but this is my chance to make up for all that. Can't wait to see you, Dad. Okay, that's interesting. So let's go with that. To Hello Well. So where's our... There we go, there's our map. Let's talk to her. And the names are still a little bit glitchy, but that's okay. And let's see what we can do with that. Bounce. Yeah, let's go through here. Yeah, let's see what she says about that. There we go. Hey, hello, L. Hey, Harp. <laughs> yeah. I found Patrick Rancho down at the marina. Rancho? As an RHC CEO? Well done, Harper. This is huge. I'm pretty sure it's him, but he's a real smooth operator. He will not talk. It seems like he's fixing to leave town. What should we do? Keep calm, Harper. We need a plan. Any ideas? Ever heard about an organization called Aquila? I have a hunch they're mixed up in this. Let's see. Let's see. Aquila is a constellation. At least two metal bands. And yeah, some kind of spiritual group in Port Nicola. Aquila. The path to enlightenment. Hmm. 
It might just be coincidence, but when Patty Silverdale first contacted me, she used the alias Eagle. And? Aquila is Latin for eagle. Ooh, interesting. Sorry, they didn't teach Latin at St. Steve's School for the Lazy and Shiftless. But, you know, Cardero was raving about eagles, too. In the cave. Maybe your hunch is worth following. I found this letter addressed to a Dominic Berard. Who's Dominic Berard? I don't know, but he's connected to all this somehow. It's a letter from this Berard guy to his daughter. Return to sender. So this Eva moved and left no address. Oh, we should be on the lookout for any more information about this Berard. I'm on it. All right. Talk to you later. See ya, Harper. Okay, so we do need more information to make Rancher talk, but I think we're going to gather that next time, so thanks for watching, and I shall see you then. Take care and goodbye.